Now, I might be a bit weird, but uh, I really like the idea of a story about a kind of hero who, when faced with a terrible monster, sort of stands with his hands on his hips and says, I am Beowulf! Uh, but if you take that to its logical conclusion, you kind of get 300. So I was hoping in Beowulf it would actually combine some great story kind of stuff, because that's where it's blooming coming from. Uh, and unfortunately, it's actually a little bit disappointing. OK, now I recorded my second impressions last night, but I've realised I'm going to have to cut that bit out, because actually I kind of spoiled an interesting thing, even though I wasn't technically spoiling the plot. So here's how it goes in a non-spoilery fashion, OK? The story in this film is actually changed from the original Beowulf, but this is done for a deliberate reason and to create a deliberate effect. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as a result of this, the story is a bit uh, unsatisfying in places, but I can see what they were trying to do, and it is kind of clever. OK. Now, one question that people might ask is why bother scanning in actors exactly and then exactly motion capturing their performance to produce exactly what you would have got if you just put them in front of a camera in the first place? There are a few reasons for this. One is you can get beautiful lighting in an amazing way in some very difficult environments. You can also do clever things with reflections. Uh, you can age actors in a way that you just can't really achieve with ordinary special effects. And finally, when you're doing it in 3D, you can do all kinds of brilliant, ah, I am poking you in the eye kind of things, which is a bit silly.